hello everyone welcome to easy chemistry by province so today we are discussing the iit neat topics in its first lesson some basic concepts of chemistry so first one you can see that law of conservation of mass so this law was proposed by the scientist name is called as a antony antony lavoisier he proposed antony lavoisier proposed the law of conservation of mass what law of uh, conservation of mass is that during the chemical reaction or chemical process matter is neither created nor destroyed that means for example a is a reactant a reactant with the b gives rise to c plus d here the the sum of the masses of the a and b let us say that it is m it is equal to the sum of the masses of the c plus d that means what the mass of the reactant is equal to the mass of the product this is the law of conservation of mass based upon this we will discuss the two questions we will discuss so here you can see the first question here is the first question 5 grams of kc first questions 5 grams of kclo3 5 grams of kclo3 yield 3.041 grams of kcl 1.36 liters of the oxygen gas at standard temperature and pressure show that these figures supports the law of conservation that's because so kclo3 on decomposition it it gives the kcl plus oxygen so how much kclo3 they have taken they have taken the 5 grams of kclo3 how much kcl we got 0.314 how much oxygen 314 grams of oxygen we got so how much oxygen got 1.36 liters of the oxygen we got here you can see that so reactant is given the mass in the grams product one product is given the mass in the grams so one product given the mass in the liters so how we have to do first of all we have to convert the oxygen mass in oxygen mass into a grams we have to convert we know that 22.4 liters of the oxygen gas o2 gas mass is 32 grams then 1.36 liters of the oxygen mass is how much so here if you do that unitary method so 32 into 1.36 liters upon the 22.4 liters this is the grams so liter get liter cancel if you do the simplification you will get 1.943 grams of the oxygen we got so finally we got how much oxygen 1.943 so here you can see that kcl is 5 grams it is yielding the 3.014 grams of the kcl plus 1.943 grams of the oxygen if you add this both you will get the 4.984 you will get so total how much it is it is the 5 grams so how much it is the difference it is the difference like a very difference 0.016 percentage so very negligible percentage so according to this result we can conclude that no it is following the law of conservation of the mass it is following next question you can see here the next question 0.22 grams of the hydrocarbons only the carbon and hydrogen is present that means what carbon plus hydrogens having the 0.22 grams on reaction with the oxygen it gives the h2o plus carbon dioxide it is giving how much carbon dioxide 0.44 grams of the carbon dioxide and the 0.9 grams of the water molecule here you can see here if you add this these two also it will not equal to the 0.22 here no the, we have to apply the second method we don't know the how much carbon is there how much hydrogen is there so here what we have to do here we have to follow the second concept we have to follow whenever we are giving the like this so here generally h2o weight is how much 
H2O weight is 18 grams. In the 18 grams, hydrogen weight is how much? From here, we have to calculate the hydrogen mass. From here, we have to calculate the carbon mass. Uh, sorry, oxygen mass. Then you have to add it will equal. In the 18 grams oxygen, 2 grams of the hydrogen is present. So, 0 0.9 grams of the water molecule, how much oxygen is present? Here we have to do the unitary method. 0 0.9 into 2 upon the 18 grams. Here it is the grams. Here it is the grams. So, by doing this one, you will get that 0 0.10 grams of the hydrogen you got it. So, same thing applied to the carbon dioxide also. So, what is the carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide molecular formula weight ball for mass is 44 grams. In 44 grams, in the 44 grams here, the molecular weight of the oxygen uh, carbon dioxide 44. So, how 44 grams, 20, 44 grams, 12 grams of the carbon is present. But in the equation, how much carbon they have, how much carbon is present? 0 0.44. 44 grams of the carbon dioxide containing the 12 grams of the carbon. 0 0.44 grams of the 0 0.44. Here already we have calculated the weight of the hydrogen we have to calculate. Now we have to calculate the mass of the carbon. How much? Same unitary method you can do. Here by doing the unitary method you can get 12 into 0 0.44 upon the 44 by simplification you will get 0 0.12 grams. So 0 0.12 grams and 0 0.10 grams. So here 0 0.12 and 0 0.10. 0 0.12, 0 0.10 so it will become 0 0.22 grams which is equal to the reoptant mass so like this now they will ask in the iit and neat questions so next video we will discuss about the law of constant uh, composition law or definite law based upon that we will discuss about the sum 223 neat iit questions thank you